Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now... Before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. than your room? Wasting doctor's time? I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? Ten years in the loony bin. No, Ma, no relations. She's an orphan. Doctor's pet. Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Oh, this dean's killing me back. Can't have this way, love, but I'll go around. Nice side effect, you could build a flat on it. Following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's 
not a vice. Stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bombay won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire. Her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some <laughs> pigeons, though. She's dolly or pound or two. But I know it's worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, Oh, died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she kind of... Witness, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a f first you could photograph.
Oh, she's all held up. She's barely there. I think someone's hiding her. 